YouTube subscribers, welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Friday, July 5th. Uh, we had a busy uh, July 4th yesterday. Went out to Lake Weiser for a barbecue. I want to thank uh, Kit and Beth for hosting the barbecue. Always a beautiful, fun time out there on the lake. Enjoying that sunshine and that little bit of the 4th of July festivities. They had the divas and the dudes performing, providing the music. So I want to thank Darcy and uh, Diane. Darcy's been on the channel before. We went for a walk around Squires Lake with their new pup, Chip. Chip was there. He made an appearance in yesterday's video. So you want to check that out. See all the people and the animals that were uh, out there at Lake Weiser as we enjoyed a little 4th of July festivity. I hope everybody had a great 4th of July as we move forward. It's Friday today and we're back at it. We're uh, back at reselling, getting back to the grind. And I've been busy this morning. I did the vlog this morning and I listed a few items and now it's time to pack up orders. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Brian Kingsbury and this channel provides a little bit about my uh, life. I show you a little bit about what's going on, but we mostly focus on reseller content. I've got two eBay stores, over 6,000 items listed, and this channel always shows you what sold. We show you what sold, we show you what we're listing, of course we show you what we're buying and trying to flip for profit. And today we woke up to a few orders. Let's take a look and see what sold out of the big store. This morning we woke up to four orders for $69 and 74 cents 69.74 for four orders let's see what they were first item sold for 19.99 it's a pierre cardon tan a cotton polyester blend dress shirt size 18 34 35 long sleeve keyword men's second item sold for 16 dollars and 51 cents it's a lot of seven kids pants athletic pajama lounge keyword sonic star wars gray, black, and blue. So for all you resellers out there, we do dabble in storage units. There's a few storage unit videos up on the channel. Those uh, pants were uh, some that I got out of a recent storage unit buy. I used to just donate all the kids stuff, but now I've started uh, lotting it up, uh, putting it together a lot like that and uh, putting it out there at a reasonable price and it does sell. Uh, I'm moving some kids clothing. You just gotta make it a good deal for the buyer. Speaking of good deals, this pair of shirts sold for $16.85. It's a lot of two Kirkland women's v-neck athletic t-shirts. One blue, one pink keyword short sleeve. So obviously Kirkland is the Costco brand and uh, there's an abundance of, uh, of them out there on the market so uh, you know there's not a huge demand for them so I saw those two athletic tees at the Goodwill for a dollar ninety nine each and I thought should I get those I don't know I saw two of them and they were exactly the same they had a little pocket on the hip that zips shut and they were v-necks and they're a little bit nicer quality uh, t-shirts than uh, a normal Kirkland tee so I decided to pick them up for four dollars and pair them up listed them up as a pair and they sold didn't take long at all listed those June 28th and here it is, July 5th, and they've already sold. Final sale of the morning out of the big store was this. It sold for $16.37. It's a brand new Hot Wheels Muscle Mania 1970 Chevelle. Orange and black toy car. Let me give you guys a look at this Chevelle. Obviously a classic car in the orange and black. There's a look at it. If you find these uh, at the thrift or uh, at the actual store, you should pick them up. Um, some of these muscle cars do sell for decent money. So again, I think that car came from a storage unit with somebody's Hot Wheels collection. There was only a handful of them, maybe 10 or 12. Listed them up and I've been making a steady profit off of each one. They were brand new on card, which is what collectors want. So uh, you got to be careful. I put them in bubble wrap to make sure that they make it to the customer in one piece because they want them looking pristine on the card. You know, they don't pull them out and play with them they uh, just collect them a lot of times and that's typically what you find uh, selling Hot Wheels online. So we're gonna find those four items get some shipping labels printed and get them ready for the post office but before we do that I want to show you the last eight listings we got up into the big store we've been working through the shorts uh, we got a bunch of shorts last Monday for $1.99 and I've been listing those at fixed price but we've been also working on some auctions I'm testing the auction market doing a little experiment listing some some t-shirts for just a dollar ninety seven starting them at a dollar ninety seven with the three ninety seven buy it now option we're getting them up there and uh, testing out the market to see if it's still a viable option for making some profit 
Um, if anything, we're trying to draw more people into my shop so they will buy the fixed price listings. Kind of using them as a loss leader type of thing to get people in, to get them looking around, to get them buying some of those higher priced items. So let's take a look at the last eight listings that went up into the store. So most of these went up yesterday before the, all the 4th of July festivities. We were working through some shorts. We got some uh, Unipro black shorts here, extra large. The big dogs, blue cotton flat front cargo dress shorts there, size 42. A uh, pair of Wrangler cargo shorts, uh, those are size 40. And over here we got some Burnside Blue. Those are big ones with size 46 waist. So uh, the bigger the better sometimes you can uh, sell them qu quicker. Uh, here's a pair of Women's Nautica, brand new with tags. Those are size small, a smaller size, but I had to get them because they were brand new. And here's a couple foot I was talking about. These ran as auctions. Nice athletic tees, obviously red. We got an extra small Gildan V-neck over here. And on the left hand side is Kalinja. A red crew neck so two red tees starting at just a dollar ninety seven and finally we close it out with a Volcom a gray polyester board short. So as you can see, although it was a holiday yesterday, all that 4th of July action was going on, I did get up early and get some listings up into the store. You got to be disciplined in this reseller game. You got to keep listing, you know, even though there's a special day and you have a lot of festivities going on. I got up, I got those listings up. I actually mowed the lawn and then we went to the barbecue and we uh, celebrated with the fireworks display downtown Bellingham. So that video is up now if you want to check that out. But today we return back to the reseller mode and we're going to grab those orders, pack things up and then uh, plan on doing a little bit more listing. I've got another stack of shorts here that I got to work through. All right, through the magic of video there, they appear four orders ready for labels. We got those seven kids pants. We put them in this legal flat rate envelope, so we'll still be making a decent amount of money on those. There's that Hot Wheels car. What else we got? Uh, we got those lot of Kirkland sh shirts here and this is that Pierre Cardin. So we're going to print those labels, add them to the tote, and then we're going to get busy uh, listing some uh, more shorts. I've got a stack of shorts. I've been working through some athletic shorts we picked up on Monday at Goodwill. Still trying to get through the shorts. This is the last of the batch that we got Monday. Uh, so once I get those on, then we'll turn our attention back to t-shirts. So it's definitely shorts and t-shirts weather right now in the middle of summer, beginning of summer, and people are buying shorts and tees. So you want to get those up. Um, you know, summer attire, athletic shoes, that sort of thing is selling really well right now. So anything summer related, you definitely want to get up online because it's selling pretty fast. All right, there they are. Four orders ready for labels and here they come uh, fresh off the printer. We're going to get these printed, add them to the package and then throw them in the tote. Get them ready to go to the post office this afternoon. All right, we got a few orders yesterday still waiting in the tote to be dropped off. We tried to drop them off, but the post office was closed yesterday, so they're still waiting, but we're going to add their few buddies to it. We got four more to add. Let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, and four. So now that we got those big store orders fulfilled, it's time to put our nose to the grindstone and just focus on listing for a moment. Got to get this stack of shorts listed. I already photographed it yesterday morning and was busy listing those shorts. I showed you what I got up yesterday morning. Uh, so we got to get some quality listings into the store so that these sales start rolling in again. Uh, we're going to put the store on sale 20% off and hope that that uh, spike sales a little bit because it's been a little slow. People have been busy celebrating the 4th of July, but we know they're home now. We know they're behind their computers uh, starting to shop again. So we got to make sure that our stuff is seen and uh, has the opportunity to be purchased. So this week we've been doing a, co a combination of fixed price listings and auctions. So uh, like I said before, we're doing these auctions, this little auction experiment, uh, throwing them up cheap hoping that that drives traffic to the store and we want to continue to list those throughout this week and weekend to see how things do you know if you can come back seven days from now and I'll let you know how they sell you know if any of them are selling if they're all just going through without bids um, we've done experiments like this before and haven't had much luck but I haven't tried it at a low price point of just $1.97 before I started them at $4.99 with snapback hats didn't have much luck but we're going even lower, $1.97 on t-shirts 
and uh, we're going to see how things are doing in that auction market. If it's still a viable op option, or if we have to switch platforms, do we have to jump to whatnot or some other platform, or does eBay still have an opportunity for us to make money in auctions? All right, I've been busy listing. I'm almost to the bottom of the stack of shorts, but I'm getting kind of hungry. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna go make some lunch. Uh, we'll finish up these shorts after lunch, and then we'll get in that photo station and take some photos of uh, t-shirts. Again, we wanna get some auctions up, and we have plenty of t-shirts to list uh, in the photo station. But first, let's make a little bit of lunch. Yeah, three shorts left to list after lunch. Here's a look at all the new listings going up. I gotta put get this stuff put away as well. Here's a look at the photo station. As you can see, we still got stacks to get through from Monday's big purchase. Here's a look at the t-shirts on the right here are the ones I'm gonna list at auction for $197, $397, buy it now. And on the left here are the nice brand name stuff. You'll see that Under Armour on top there. There's some Nike, there's some good stuff in there. We're gonna list those as fixed so one advantage of listing those auctions is that uh, we're getting a boost in these top 20 placements. Uh, when you search for something, you want to be in that top 20. You want to come up on that first page. And uh, as a result of listing these auctions this week, I've definitely seen a boost in that, uh, that uh, top 20 placement. I'll give you guys a look at that as well after lunch. Sometimes it's a good idea to keep an eye on your analytics page. It kind of makes you feel like you're doing the right job. You know, if you see those numbers going up or uh, going down or holding steady, uh, it can, can kind of let you know if you're doing something good, bad, or otherwise. So uh, when we see that number going up and we see the sales consistently rolling in, uh, we're doing something right. So uh, that's kind of how I like to think about it. All right, lunch is served. We got a little ham and cheese. We got some chips. We got an apple and we got a seltzer so we're water. We're trying to keep it a little bit healthy. I'm going to have this some lunch and then we're going to get back into list mode, finish up those shorts, and then get into listing some t-shirts. Of course, I'm going to give you guys a look at the stats at the, um, what do you call it, the analytics. Yeah, you got to be friends with the analytics page. We're going to take a look at the analytics page, and I'm going to show you the increase in that top 20 placement. So that's what we want. That's what we're hoping to achieve by running all these uh, cheap auctions. All right, lunch is complete. All right, now that I'm done with lunch, I think I'm going to list those uh, three shorts that I showed you earlier. But first, let's take a look at that analytics page I was telling you about. So to find your analytics page, you go to your seller hub, you click on your performance tab here, then you drag down to traffic and you click on traffic. So once you click that tab, it'll show you your impressions, it'll show you your page views, and uh, the third chart down there is quantity sold. But we're going to focus on this number right here. Look at this, I was telling you this. Up 3.4% top 20 search slot impressions. Actually it says up 16.1% to 109,000. So that's what we're working on. And uh, as you can see over here, rest of slot impressions are up as well, 10.4 and up 2.3. So the green there is uh, all good signs. So you might ask yourself, why are you so worried about top 20 uh, search slot results? You know, why top 20? Uh, you know, if you're searching for something, you click in there, um, Hurley Shorts or something, and what comes up? 25 listings um, per page, I believe. So that first 20, uh, that's where you want to be. You know, people aren't likely going to scroll through page after page after page. They're going to look at one page. They're going to see if they find what they want, and they're going to buy it. So uh, to be on that top 20 search uh, results, that's where you want to be if you want to make the sale. So we got some good news while I was eating lunch and listing those shorts. We did have three more orders come in. I'll get a uh, look at those in a second here. I'm going to list the rest of these shorts. Three more pair to go and then we'll be through that stack and then we'll have to pack up those three orders. Let me give you a sneak peek. There you see it. Three orders for $52.83. $52.83 for three All orders. Right there you see it. We got through that stack of shorts. There's the last of them. A nice pair of Arizona Jean Company cargo dress shorts 40 by 10. Let me give you a quick look at the other shorts that I got listed this morning and then we'll take a look at those three sales. Oh, I think it was 11 shorts in total that was on that stack. We got a pair of MBA shorts here, those black shorts, hind size extra large kind of running style. Triton blue shorts, uh, those have some sort of logo on the on the bottom there, the bottom hem. DSG, those actually were boys shorts. I didn't realize that size 18 XL. Over here we got some RBXs, uh, nice running shorts, uh, some small champion blue with the white piping down the side. 
Here's a pair of uh, cycling shorts with the padded crotch area, perfect for spring wear. And over here, uh, we got some Russell Fresh Force gray shorts. Last two over here, another pair of Champions. These are Champion 9, black size large, and a pair of REI cycling shorts, again with the padded crotch area. And then you saw these earlier. These are the Volcom board shorts. So uh, there's what we were busy listing. A nice batch of, I think it was 11 total shorts that we got listed uh, this morning. So now that we got a good look at all those shorts that we got listed this morning, let's go ahead and take a look at those three orders that came in while we we're eating lunch and finishing those listings. Just a reminder, it was three orders for $52.83. Let's take a look and see what they First were. First pair sold for $14.61. I listed these yesterday, a pair of uh, medium uh, FCB blue and red men's athletic soccer shorts. They're just drawstring shorts, 26 inch waist by 7 inch inseam. They, they have a logo on the bottom there. I wasn't sure what that was, but you guys probably know if you're soccer fans. Second item sold for $29.64. It's a pair of Cole Haan men's casual genuine leather shoes. Keyword loafers, brown, size 9.5B. Let me give you a look at these. Nice loafer dress shoes by Cole Haan. These might have been a storage unit fine, but they are in good condition. Look at that, soles have plenty of wear left on them. A few little dings here and there, but pretty uh, excellent condition for this pair of Cole Hong. So again, something you want to think about, uh, footwear, you know, that is uh, ideal to be listing right now. You know, it's summertime, they're having these summer weddings, people need to get dressed up and they need a nice pair of loafers to go with their outfit so uh, that might be a good uh, idea to list those loafers if you have them in inventory unlisted go ahead and get those listed uh, they're gonna need them when they go to those weddings third item sold for eight dollars and fifty eight cents it's a desperate housewife season five disc four terry hatcher at felicity huffman so i think this is just disc four from season five there it is just a one disc not the whole deal, but uh, Desperate Housewives out the door. So a lot of times I pick up those box sets if you can get them uh, on sale day cheap enough. I usually don't buy the individual seasons like that, but I think we got that in a storage unit. Uh, a bunch of media in a storage unit. I just listed it up. I've been working on my small section. That's one thing I started a while back and uh, have had decent sales out of it. It's not a quick flip type of thing, but it's a steady uh, money maker. Um, you know, you get 8 to $10 sales here and there. And they all add up over the course of uh, a year. So uh, I've been uh, adding to that small section. And they sell, per sell periodically. And you can add different things to it. I do belt buckles. I do media, DVDs, Blu-rays, that sort of things. Uh, anything small that fits in these little envelopes that I get, I throw into the small section. Uh, we've done jewelry. We've done uh, matchbox cars. Uh, anything, little knives, pocket knives. So, you know, it's good to have a little small section that uh, might not uh, sell for as much money as the rest of the stuff, but it doesn't take up a lot of space and it is a steady stream of what you call bread and butter. My bread and butter items, you know, a steady stream of income other than with the big money makers that you're trying to find out there at the thrift. So just to give you an idea, here are the small envelopes that I was telling you guys about. The last month I've sold about this many items out of the small section and I have about uh, three totes plus a couple shelving units full of smalls, so you can expect about that many There's per a month. a quick look at my small section. It started with the shelving units and I added a few totes and I've got a few totes in the photo station as well. So it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it is a steady stream of uh, bread and butter profits that come so in. So it's kind of nice to have that, you know, if you're not finding the clothing that you want to find at the thrift to uh, focus, you know, I'm mainly a clothing seller, so that's basically what I'm searching for. If I'm not finding the stuff I, I want to flip for money, I can always go to the media section, pick up some Blu-rays, or I can order a, a belt buckle lot online and uh, flip those for profit. You know, we've been doing some online arbitrage that way, buying in bulk and relisting for profit, and that's a good way to get inventory as well. So enough about all that. I'm going to go find those three items that sold. We'll print some shipping labels, add them to the tote, and then we'll get in that photo station and photograph some more t-shirts. We still have to log into the small store. Uh, we didn't log in yesterday, which was kind of a holiday, so we uh, didn't log in and fulfill orders. So we definitely have to get in that small store and see what kind of action we have in the small store today as well. All right, we found those three items while I was uh, running around looking for those items. Two more orders came into the big store. Uh, another smalls, uh, patches. That's another thing that I've listed in the past into that small section. 
and uh, we had a couple a lot of four patches got them in a junk drawer lot i think listed those up as a lot of four and they sold let me give you a look at the other two items that sold so you see it, it went from three to five orders for 88.97 let's take a look at the other two items here's that a look sold. at those patches sold these for 22 dollars and 16 cents it's a lot of four patches scorpion niagara lewiston Tr lewiston trail council um so uh, there's the scorpion i love you there's the Niagara County Council of Girl Scouts. And then here's a couple from the, the Lewiston Trail Council. So a couple unique, actually four unique patches there that we sold. So I haven't dealt a lot in patches, but that is one niche that you might want to get into. I've done Harley Davidson patches. Those are popular. But uh, if you get unique patches like that from the 70s or anything vintage like that, People will buy them up, and as you can see, uh, they pay a decent amount of money Sometimes for them. Sometimes people like to repurpose old jeans, jackets, or vests, or make you know personalize it. Put a couple, of, sew a couple patches on there, make it look cool, and uh, they look that vintage stuff, and you know, or theme stuff. They do a Harley vest; they want it to have all vintage Harley patches on it, or a Girl Scouts. I guess you could do something like that as well. But uh, there is a demand for those type of patches if you come across. Another item that sold was far less interesting. It sold for. $13.98. It's a basic, a medium H&M gray crew neck men's sweatshirt top cotton long sleeve keyword man. I've got the three orders. I'm going to go grab the other two and then we'll print some shipping labels and uh, hopefully we can get them printed before more orders roll in. All right, we located those other two items, those lot of four patches, which was nice because it only weighs one ounce. And then we found those, um, that uh, sweatshirt as well. And now we're going to get these orders printed. Here come those labels now. We're gonna add these five to the tote and take these to the post office tonight. Right, we got a tote nearly full of orders. We gotta add five more. Let's go ahead and do that. One, two, there's those Cole Haan leather loafers. Three, four and five, the patches and the Desperate Housewives. So now that we're caught up on fulfilling orders out of the big store, I'm gonna turn my attention to the photo station. We got those t-shirts set out there to photograph, so I think that's the next step. I'll put this camera down, knock out those photos, and then we'll log into the small store, see what kind of action we have in the small store. We need to get some listings up into the small store as well. We can't, we can't neglect that small store if we want those orders to keep rolling in. That's uh, one thing you got to remind yourself. If you have two stores, you're managing two stores like I do, uh, you got to keep feeding that small store with listings as well. All right, so I just finished photographing the stack of t-shirts I'm going to list at auction. Just basic tees, mostly athletic t-shirts, uh, nothing too fancy, nothing brand name. Like I said, I'm going to list those for $1.97, so they're nothing special, but they're good quality merchandise that I think will sell at that price point. Kind of bought them as a loss leader to get people into my shop and uh, hopefully get some eyes on this fixed price um, items that I'm being listed as well. So let's take a look at the stuff I'm going to list as fixed price. A little bit nicer stuff, the more brand name stuff. And I've got some set out here in the photo station that I'm going to work through. But I thought I would give you guys a look at them as well. Here's the one on the top of the stack. This is a nice um, size medium under armor heat gear um, black solid athletic t-shirt. So just a nice crew neck. Up next we have this MLS Cup um, Seattle Sounders FC from 2019. I think this is when they won the whole deal. This is a size medium v-neck. Nice graphic t-shirt with a big graphic on the front there from the year 2019 when they won the whole deal. Up next we have this size large Adidas Climacool polo shirt. It's kind of got that uh, quarter zip. It has the Bellingham Country Club logo here. I think that's what it is, the Bellingham Country Club. So it says Adidas on the side there and again it's the Climacool. Perfect for out there on the links to play golf in has the wicking on the side in white highlights Up next we have this blue size medium nike pro t-shirt it's blue with white highlights up top here i think it's designed to be kind of tight fitting if i uh, see this correctly it runs pretty slim through the chest area so uh, i'd imagine maybe you wear this under something when you're performing on the soccer field or something so uh, that would be my guess nike pro Sometimes they, uh, the Nike Pro is the, the padded football jersey stuff, but this appears to be a woman's size medium. So Up next we have another Nike t-shirt. This is a Nike Dry Fit Nike Tennis. This one is size medium as well. So maybe that other one was a tennis tee as well. 
You wear the blue one under the orange here. Maybe that was what it was designed for. This is the dry fit. It looks to be having uh, some sort of light gray accents to this one. So a crew neck, size medium Nike tennis dry fit t-shirt. This next one is a moving comfort cycling shirt. This has a kind of a light blue highlights, a size small. And it has the pockets in the back, I believe, the trio of pockets that the cycling shirts have. And it has kind of a um, half zip, I would call this one. It zips down quite far all the way to the um, belly area here. So uh, half zip, moving comfort size small with a cool design around the cuffs and the collar. All right, we're nearing the end. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this look at the inventory. We started with the Under Armour and we got another Under Armour here to show you. This is a blue one. The other one was black. Let's there take a look. It is another Under Armour. This is a heat gear. This is size extra small, a V-neck with the under Armour logo on the front there. There you see it, size extra small, loose fit, heat gear, Under Armour V-neck t-shirt, short sleeve. Right, just a reminder, we're gonna check out the small store in a moment here, but uh, we got something special for you baseball fans. We got a little baseball tee down here. Let's take a look. There it is, saw this one at the thrift and I couldn't pass it up for $1.99. We got this new era. It's a size small new era, Chicago Cubs, little t-shirt V-neck has the logo on front and the sleeve. New Era, interesting brand because it has the keyword new in there. Anytime you can get new in the title, it's a bonus. So more people are looking at that because they're searching for new stuff. And uh, pretty smart from New Era to use that. I'm not sure if they had that in mind, but uh, it does help sell these items. Here's a little pinstripe t-shirt in the form of a jersey perfect for the game. Alright, I want to thank everybody for being so patient as we get through this inventory. We're getting stuff photographed. We got one more tee to show you. Like I said, I'm going to list uh, this last batch all as fixed price. Likely start them at $9.97. I don't see anything that's worthy of listing for more money than that. We're going to keep it cheap under that $10 threshold. Hopefully we can get some of those sales and those um, those auction listings earlier uh, will lead the people into the store to buy these items. So let's take a look at this last item. Here it is, a gray t-shirt. This one is called the Ultimate Tee by Adidas. It's a size extra large, a v-neck. Has kind of that striped design, uh, but just a basic tee, short sleeve, polyester blend. So a nice looking Adidas Ultimate Tee. All right, we got all those t-shirts photographed and ready to be listed. Now it's time to take a look at that small store. We're gonna log into the small store, see what kind of action we had. Of course, I'm gonna tell you guys what sold, or if we had any offers, or what kind of action we had at all. So let's take a look and find all out. All right, I just logged into the small store. I listed four shirts, actually three t-shirts, and that uh, cycling jersey into the small store. And we had three orders waiting for us. Let me show you what sold. Before we get to what sold, here's a look at those uh, listings. Things. Here's that cycling jersey, a nice uh, moving comfort blue jersey size small. Here's a look at a few items that I just showed you, the stuff I just photographed. We got that blue Under Armour listed. We got that nice Chicago Cubs pinstripe t-shirt listed. And of course that Adidas, the ultimate tee, that gray striped tee, that size extra large. So some nice t-shirts going up into the small store. And as far as orders go, like I said, we had three for a total of $49.74. $49.74 for three orders. Let's see what for they were. All three shorts orders. Here's the first one sold for $17.51. It's a O'Neal gray polyester rayon dress shorts, flat front, extra large, 38 inch waist by 11 inch in Second one sold for $14. 1963. It's a Canary Athletic Padded Adult Bike Cycling Short, size medium, 24 inch waist by 8.5 inch inseam. Of course, those will stretch to fit. And the third pair of shorts sold for $17.60. A pair of Russell Blue Polyester Athletic Men's Drawstring Shorts, 3XL, 42 inch waist by 8.5 inch inseam. So three shorts orders. As you can see, that's why I'm so diligent about getting those shorts up first thing because they're selling pretty pretty well right now. Middle of summer, shorts are definitely flying out of the stores. So I'm trying to get them listed in both short stores. Uh, we got shorts up in the big store today and uh, we're working on t-shirts into the small store. So uh, we're getting that summer gear out there in front of the right eyes to make these sales. There's the four that I just listed. We're gonna put those away. I'm gonna put those uh, four listings away into inventory. Grab the four or three sales, the three shorts orders, and then we'll print some shipping labels and add those to the tote. Get them ready to 
take to the post office this afternoon. All right, there they are, three shorts orders, and here come the labels for them. We're gonna get these labels printed and add them to the tote. Right, let's go ahead and add these three small store orders. One, two, three shorts orders ready for the post office. So it's almost five o'clock right now. I've got some uh, t-shirts already photographed and ready to go. I think I'm gonna run these orders to town. Of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's pack things up and get ready to go into town and drop these orders off and get a little exercise. All right, I got my tote full of orders packed up and ready to drop them off at the post office. So we're gonna hit the road, go to the post office, and again, visit Lake Pad and take a little bit of uh, walk around and get in a run hopefully it's a little warm today so we won't have to do a lot of warming up we'll hit that trail and get that 2.6 miles accomplished of course i'll show you guys around a little bit uh, the sights and sounds of everything that's going on today let's hit the road and see what we can see Right, as you saw there, we got those orders dropped off. Next stop is Lake Padden. Let's go. All right, we made it here to Lake Padden. As you heard, they had a little Prince Marathon. They were playing Purple Rain there. They were playing Kiss. They were playing all kinds of great... Uh, Prince songs as I drove up here. So uh, a little bit of Prince in my ears as we enter Lake Patton. We're going to go on a little warm up and then we're going to um, hit the trails and get that 2.6 miles in, get some steps in, try to run all the way around the lake, see how I feel today. But first let's get this warm up in. Of course I'll take you guys along, show you a little bit of the lake and the scenery and then we'll get that run in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little warm-up footage. I'm gonna hit the trail now, get about 2.6 miles in, logged in, and once I return, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, I made it another successful 2.6 around Lake Patton. It was pretty hot out there. Luckily, I like to run in the warm weather, so uh, the mouth got a little dry, but uh, just had a liter of water, so uh, we solved that problem real quick. I guess I'm grateful that I'm out there running all the way around the lake. Had a little kick at the end there. And uh, the body held up. Uh, during the warm-up, I felt a little twinge in my left calf. Had me a little worried, but I uh, stretched it out a little and uh, made it all the way around, no problems. So I think that's enough of a quick update in the car. I'm going to get out of this hot car and uh, get back into warm-down mode. Take you guys back out there to the lake and show you a little bit more. See if we can find something cool. Let's go ahead and hit the trail in a warm-down and see what we can see today. I 
God, it's a little after 9 o'clock now. I got home, had a little bit of dinner, and listed two more t-shirts. Two more t-shirts at auction. Uh, the auction experiment continues. We got two more up tonight. But I think I'm going to call an end to this day in the life of a reseller vlog. I want to thank everybody for watching this one to the very end. We did have a couple of orders come in tonight. Uh, we'll pack those up in the morning, so be sure to come back if you want to see what sold. If you could do me a big favor and hit that like button on your way out, uh, you could also hit that notification button if you want to come back and see all the videos that drop. The notification button uh, sends a notification, obviously, to you when each video drops, and you can just click the ones you want to watch. Thanks again for watching this one to the very end. Tomorrow we'll start fresh. Uh, we'll list a few more auctions, finish up with these t-shirts, and then get back in that photo station and see what else we can find. But thanks again for watching this one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.